After the famous Lewis and Clark expedition of 1804, many European Americans were inspired to brave the Rocky Mountain West in pursuit of the fur trade. Fur was in season, and no pelt was more prized than that of the almighty beaver. The trappers would stay in the mountains year-round collecting these pelts, and then would sell them annually at trade fairs each summer. Surviving for months at a time alone in the wilderness, many times a mountain man's only other human contact was with the Native Americans. Because there was no currency exchange, trappers traded processed and manufactured goods with the Native Americans for furs and robes. But material items weren't the only thing exchanged. The trappers and Native Americans also adopted one another's cultures and values. The fur trade declined in the late 1830s, but many of these mountain men used their knowledge of the frontier west to help guide military and scientific explorations on what later became the Oregon Trail. You can see the tools of the trade used by the mountain men here in the Joe Grandy Museum of the Frontier West at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or check our website at nationalcowboymuseum.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching, folks.